Ayo, what is up everybody? It's your boy Wildcat Bald here. Welcome back to a brand new video for you guys here today and today guys We are now in the next episode of Amphibia And like I've always said every single time we've done Waysville should already know by now If you guys have not watched my previous episode I've done on Amphibia I'm gonna highly encourage you guys please go check it out Yes guys, welcome back to episode of Amphibia today We are now in episode 17 And yeah guys, we only got three episodes left before we get to the season one finale finale of Amphibia. I'm very, very excited to see what's in store for season one. Because if y'all remember in the last episode, we got to see the Calamity Box, you know, being brought back up again. And I'm telling you, there is a connection between the Calamity Box and possibly the Planters. Hop Pop is hiding something. He's hiding something from Anne. And I think it's very, very important we keep an eye on him. And I do got a, I do got a strong feeling he, he's going to get caught eventually and it's probably going to be upsetting for him. Yeah, guys, I'm very, very excited to check out episode 17 today. And without further ado, enough of my talk, here's guys to the video, I'm gonna check out episode 17 of Amphibia. Here we go. All right, today's episode is called Cursed. Okay, all right, let's see, let's see, let's see. There you go, dearie. Get you later, Mrs. Croker. Oh, they'll never catch me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Maddie, happy market day. <laughs> Classic creepy, Maddie. Yep. What are you doing? Hiding. Since <laughs> Maddie and I got engaged, things between us have been awkward. Dude, if you don't want to be engaged anymore, just go break it off. Yeah. Break up with her? <laughs> She'll kill me. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> break up's no big deal. I used to do it for my friends all the time. They called me the breakup queen. Also, uh, angel of death. Angel of death. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Oh. Gracious me! Oops, sorry about that, Barry. Whoa, what did see there, Barry? Sucks! Okay. Barry! Don't worry about it! Nothing gets Barry down! <gasps> oh! Candy magic! Have a very good day! <laughs> Barry's here! Did he really just leave those berries on the floor? Like, come on, man. There goes Barry. Sweetest frog in all of Wartwood. Now, to break up with Maddie for ya. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what is this? Or maybe breaking up by text would be better. By yeah. what? By text. It's not super cool. But hey, everybody's done it at least once. <laughs> now we're both. Gotta go back to handwriting. Dear Manny, I break up with you. It's free. He did she put an emoji? <laughs> She mad, she mad, bro, she mad. Like I said, no problem. Oh, what's Mary doing? What's she doing? What's she doing? Bro, what the hell? This child is not normal. <laughs> Something ain't right. Got hair. She a crow? When I woke up, these things started growing out of me. I just... <laughs> she a bird. Morning, kids. Goodness gracious, boy. What's on your face? I, I don't know. I just woke up like this. And me, anytime I try to talk, I... <laughs> you want to see my toothbrush? Eh? Eh? <laughs> She's a bird. <laughs> Jesus, it is the dark heart. <laughs> you know, when? It's about a night for a curse to kick in. Either of you upset anyone yesterday? Maddie. Maddie. Dude, you got to go talk to her. Anyway, you can wait till tomorrow because I am loving this. Spring, we have to go talk to Maddie. What She's a Muppet. This? <sighs> You're right. Maybe we can try lifting this curse ourselves. Hey, but hurry. I've got a really bad feeling about where this is headed. Three hours come on, later. Come on, come on. A little bit of this. So you've been cursed. <laughs> well, that didn't work either. How you doing over there, Anne? Bro, it's happening. She's a full on bird. Anne, are you okay? You know, it's actually not that bad. Watch this. <laughs> ah. oh, oh. Mm. I hate this 
That's nasty. Uh -huh. <laughs> I think I'm getting closer. Sprig, enough is enough. You are going to get Maddie to lift this curse and bet that. I'm fine. It's gonna be so awkward. Let's do it. I got Mr. Planter's bread order here. <laughs> She's ah, here. Perfect. on me. Forgot to fix those hinges. Oh, uh... Hey, Maddie. Hey, Maddie. Sprig. <laughs> Stop stalling, dude. Uh, you see, that's a curse. Maddie, I'm sorry for the way I broke up with you. It was wrong of me to have Ann do it, and doubly wrong that we didn't do it face to face. Well, your breakup literally hit me in the face. But as much as I would have preferred an actual conversation, I was fine with what you wrote. So, you Jack, you let the curse? Up, co? We. Take these curses off of us. Please. Sorry, but I can't. Curses can only be lifted by the caster. And this isn't my curse. What? <gasps> who did it? Then who? Hmm. Hey. Wait. It's not what's his name, is it? Oh my god. The, the fucking berry dude. The berry. You gotta fix this door. Willy Wonka guy. Eventually. Hey, she's fine. It's worth a shot. Yeah. <laughs> Why'd you think it was me who cursed you? Well, you do give off a creepy vibe. Just because I seem creepy to you doesn't mean I'm a bad person. Sheesh. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. Yeah, well that's, that's a really good point. <laughs> Kurt the Crow says, this will end in tears. <laughs> He apologizes though. I only grow once every ten years. I played it cool and was sweet because my image is half my business. <laughs> I may look nice, but I'm petty and vengeful on the inside. Makes sense. Yeah, that was our bad. Looks can be deceiving. We get it. Oh, right, right. The lesson thing. Barry, we're sorry. Please lift the curse. Begging you on my knees. On my knees. Hmm, let me think. Never. Not only am I petty, but I'm very unforgiving. As a curse wielder myself, this abuse of magic offends me. Get him, Maddie. Goodness. You should never curse someone unless they really deserve it. And <laughs> ah, two can play a that game. Mama. Let's go. Some good Harry Potter stuff right here. Try it out. 
Power. Oh. oh. I'm disappointed, bro. Disappointed. All right, kids. Meet back here in 15 minutes. Well, good morning, Hoppadiah. Morning, Wartilda. How are the kids? Great. You know, my daughter just got accepted to Newtopia University. That's the big league right there. Yep, she's got a bright future. Good thing, too. Ascots aren't as popular as they used to be. Vegetables aren't doing so hot either. Mm. These days are all about fruit. That's life, I suppose. Four Ascots this month, Wartilda. <sighs> sure wish I could give Sprig and Polly a better future. Man, they're going broke. Oh. Huh? Yeah, what's over there? More ascots? Amphibia has got talent. Amphibia's got talents coming to Wartwood. Wait, what is this nonsense? We've got the same thing in my world. It's a contest where regular people get on stage. America's got talent. That sounds potentially humiliating. Auditions are being held this weekend. Yeah. Hey, could be fun to play my fiddle in front of a crowd. Yeah. <laughs> One thing's for sure. Bro, my boy's got passion in that. Let him do it. Opportunity. Relax, relax. The drift. How's life, Polly? Ding, dang, delightful. At last, I can rest forever. Wait, if this is the future, why don't I have legs? Why am I still here? Yeah. <laughs> you see, I'm trying to pass on. <laughs> Pass on. Hey, top up, top up, just leave us. Should we get help? I'll get help. Hold on there, boy. Let's give this talent show nonsense a try. It's a long shot, but with enough dedication and teamwork, sure we can make you a star. Yeah. Who's with me? Ladies. And how'd you pay for all that junk? I may or may not have mortgaged the house. What? What? This freaking girl, bro. This freaking girl. One of nature's most seductive animals. All right. Inspired by this majestic creature, I've designed an act for Sprig that will guarantee we take home first prize. Okay. You're in charge of costume design and makeup. I'm thinking cosmic, ethereal. Very flat. Polly. Yes, coach? Your chief morale officer. Is that not a real job? Why can't I be the star? I've got talent too. All right, let's see what you got. Yeah. <clears throat> Here's a little ditty I wrote by myself. <gasps> Jesus. She got some strong vocals. Like I said, morale. Come on. And as for you, Sprig, you have the hardest job of all. We'll be working on your act together from dusk till dawn, rain or shine, till heck or high water. Yeah. Aren't we taking this all just a little too seriously? Briggs, Bro, he's trying to help. It takes work. It takes dedication. Sacrifice. You don't want to end up like that guy, do you? No job. No prospect. Just look at him, Sprig. <laughs> Hop up. That's a way of hard work. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Oh, we're getting a Rocky montage. Let's go. Oh. Come on, boy. Chug it. Chug it. Yeah. How to work on your stage faces. Happy you. Hey. Sad Jill. Oh. I said jealous too. I don't uh. even know what that looks like. Yeah. yeah. Nice, bro. Nice, nice, Whoa. nice. Whoa. What? I'm about to put it into the ringer. Jesus. I just want to have fun up there. Can you eat fun? Can you make a fun deposit into your fun savings? Is fun a beautiful mansion with a front gate shaped like a giant fiddle? Okay, okay, okay. fine. Jeez, fine. <laughs> Alright, man, come on. Alright, let's go, let's go. Let's go, Spriggs. Go, Marky. The more I keep seeing weird animals on the show, they just get bigger and bigger. I'm thinking launch out. Yep. <laughs> Alright, gang, 
this is ours to lose. You Here we go, Spray. <laughs> Your moment. As ready as I'll ever be. Then get out there and win, win, win. Next up is Sprig Plantar. Sprig? Ugh. Performing Flight of the Moth. All right, let me get this Amazing. That's cool. Well, hello there. I know, right? Hey! Hey, let's go! It's amazing, bro. It's amazing. It's Must be a Lindsay, uh, Lindsay Sterling. of episode 17 of Amphibia. Uh, yeah, this one, it was an okay episode. I wouldn't say it was as good, but it was it was an okay episode. We had an episode dealing with Maddie, which I'm surprised we haven't seen her a lot in this season. We did see her the first time when I guess Sprig and her got engaged. Then she, she, she sort of disappeared. Yeah, it was cool seeing her back again and just, you know, trying to play a curse on, you know, Anne and Sprig. But again, even though it wasn't her, it was the guy named Barry, he did it, but yeah, it was still pretty funny. This episode, it was pretty cool, man. I love that when they use Sprig's uh, violin or his fiddle, I guess, that shit is amazing. It reminds me of, uh, there's a YouTuber and a musician named Lindsay Sterling. She plays the violin and she was on America's Got Talent as well. Recommend looking her up if you guys can see me. Yeah, honestly guys, episode 17 was dope, man. We only have three more episodes left before we get to the finale. And I'm very, very excited to see what's gonna come of it. But if you have not seen episode 17, please go check it out. But besides that, I want to thank y'all for watching this video. If you like, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I will be doing more reactions in the future. So if you have anything you want to check out in the future, please let me know in the comment section down below. But uh, yeah, this has been your boy, Bob Cat Ball. I'll see you all later.